In your Google Doodle, you may want to find characters from the internet or images from the internet that look like the shapes of some of the letters of Google. However, you may also want to cut parts of pictures out. Uh, there are loads of ways of doing that, and I'm going to show you a few of them now. The first one is the lasso tool. It's just a standard lasso tool which you use to draw around the certain places that you want. Obviously the drawback of this is that it takes a long time to go around and it's very hard to get it exactly right. And the other problem is, if someone jogs you, you have to start all over again. Another one, if you hold down the lasso tool, you have two here. Polygon lasso tool and the magnetic lasso tool. The polygon lasso tool allows you to click and then draw around. So you, every single time you put down or click down on the keyboard, a bit of the line is placed, which makes it a little bit easier to draw around certain objects in a picture. The other one that you have in this menu is the magnetic, magnetic lasso tool, which is really useful because what it does is it attaches itself, if you just slightly hover around, the shape of the image, it basically attaches itself to the lines of the image. So it finds the lines and attaches itself to them. As you can see now, automatically, without me even clicking anything, the line is automatically being attached to the image, ready for me when I'm ready to cut it or delete it. If I want to just choose this very quickly, Once you get round to the end, you click on the last point and you can see all of it is selected. If you want to remove this part of the image, all you have to do is press delete on the keyboard or you can go to edit, cut, or if you want to change the color, go to edit, or sorry, go to image, adjustments, and replace color. And then you can start changing the color of the hair or the part of the image that you've selected. Other ways of selecting the image include this tool up here, which you have rectangle, circle, rows, or columns. These two top ones here are the most useful, especially the circle and the square. So, for example, if I wanted to make a circle of Marge's hair, I simply click and drag, and I've now got a perfect circle ready to be selected. And if I want to copy that, or let's say if I copy it now, edit copy, edit paste, I then click on this arrow tool here, you can see here I've got a perfect circle copy of Marge's hair. The other way to select things is obviously you know the magic wand tool by now but there's also something called the quick selection tool. So if you click on this it allows you to select parts of images very quickly. You can see if you just click on one certain part of the image you can already see just by clicking that one single part of the hair all of the hair has been selected. So if I press delete, she's now got no hair. And I can also then change the color and do what I want. It's a really easy way to select parts of the image.